On March 4th, 2020, five skateboarding missionaries from the United States hopped on a plane from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Havana, Cuba. The mission, go to skate parks, make friends, share the gospel, and make disciples. The entire country of Cuba doesn't have a single skate shop. In fact, it's illegal to skate in the streets. There are only a few designated spots skateboarders can legally meet together to skate without getting into trouble. On our first day, we went to one of the most well-known spots in Havana at what's known as a sports complex. It might not be what you would consider a sports complex in the United States, but in Havana, it's somewhere you're allowed to skate without getting in any trouble by the government. The skateboarding community in Cuba is growing, but because access to gear is limited within the country and nearly impossible to get, skateboarders in Cuba rely on outside source to bring them boards, shoes, and other products. On our second day, we traveled by bus to a hidden DIY skate park in an abandoned building. This is one of the only few places in Havana with ramps, rails, and other concrete obstacles to skate. While there, we held a small contest and gave some product away to kids. Overall, it was a fun day skateboarding and making new friends. Yeah, we are right. right now in a, a residential neighborhood. It's called Tarara. <laughs> I'm turning because Mark's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and right now it's a place for like a touristic place, but in the beginning of the revolution was a a neighborhood of, of summer house for the people. We're in a military zone, so here is where Che Guevara's house is, which is abandoned. And then there's also some abandoned theaters here as well. And so you pay $5 to get in, but they give you $4 back for every $5 so that you can go eat some food. We're currently at an abandoned theater. We're gonna try skating inside because they can't see us from the street. So we'll see how long we can skate for. But this looks really sick. Our new friends took us to a secret abandoned swimming pool right along the ocean. This was a fun little spot with some banks and legends. We spent a good amount of our time here exchanging shoes with kids who needed a new pair of skate shoes. Once the rain started to pick up, everyone quickly grabbed all their things and we all huddled inside a small shack near the beach. Everyone was able to gather inside and get out of the rain, and it was a perfect opportunity for us to share the gospel. While Jesus spoke and shared the gospel, everyone who was there was intently listening. 
Several skateboarders heard the word of Christ for the first time, and many gave their life to Jesus that day. After praying, those who accepted Christ also committed to being baptized. there for the night but because we clearly are not Cuban and before even opening our mouths everybody could tell we didn't do that uh, it would have been extremely expensive so we're saving the money staying here so we're gonna have to do that another time it didn't work out today we found in my opinion the best skate park in Havana Cuba because there's ramps everything's built really well there's not a whole lot of cracks it's smooth it's fun we're coming back here tonight at four o'clock to hold a little contest with all the locals uh, that way we can hang out and skate with everybody but until then we're just having a small session getting some flips and tricks we try not to hurt ourselves and this park is a lot of fun <laughs> We spent the first part of our day skating the park and having fun with the locals who were already there. Many of the kids only had rollerblades, so they were excited to try out our skateboards. Alright, so we're going back to the skate park today to hold a little contest to give some more product away and hang out with the kids there. And the weather is great today, and that's all I got. You got anything? Huh. Um, I'm pulling Mark. No! <laughs> hey, what's up? After skating for an hour, we left and came back in the afternoon to hold a contest. Word spread pretty quickly, and before we knew it, the skate park was packed with people. We were able to give out more product to kids and enjoyed spending time with our new friends. <laughs> After the contest, we bought ice cream sandwiches for every single person at the skate park. It was nearly a mob as kids surrounded the ice cream stand, but before we knew it, over 70 sandwiches were handed out to everyone in the park. On our fifth day in Cuba, we still had some boards to give away. So instead of going to the skate park, we walked right past the park with our boards and into the nearby neighborhood. Our mission was to hand out new shoes, Bibles, clothing, and skateboards to the kids in the community. It started out with just the five of us, but it didn't take long for there to be a huge flock of kids following us ready to hand stuff out. Watching the skaters connect with their own community was super humbling to watch. The town of Havana, Cuba is made up of roughly 400 skateboarders and that number is growing. The skaters all know each other and we're no longer strangers to them either. Skateboarding is all about community and the skateboarders in Havana welcomed us to their community so graciously. Although our time in Havana was short, I know this won't be the last time we step foot in Cuba. I pray for our return back. I thank God for skateboarding, for allowing it to be such an incredible tool to use to further his kingdom and to share the word of Christ everywhere we go. Guantanamera, ay, 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 ay,
Guantanamera, me lo llevo ya. 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 Guantan